know Bruce why, Lee um, theory. Bruce Lee? Yeah. Bruce Lee uh, said they died. he died of a painkiller, right? Did he? Yeah, well, I'm He died of a heart attack, I think. No, he died. I think he died because he took some painkiller. Oh, he died. shit, really? I didn't know yeah. that. But they were saying that the mafia actually killed him mm. because he was giving too many secrets about the martial arts to the West that he, they just had to oh. come Oh, that's crazy. I, I get him out. Damn. Yeah. I didn't know that. That's crazy that you didn't know that. Because <laughs> I thought you would. Nah, I don't know everything. Yeah, just like <laughs> the ones that come across to come across. <laughs> Your brain is just a Reddit of theory. Like, <laughs> you know the butterfly, butterfly effect, effect theory. Oh, what is it? So the butterfly effect is that Travis Scott? Nah. <laughs> not that butterfly effect. Yeah. <laughs> but like the butterfly effect is that a butterfly could fly and then let's say you hit it by accident you kill it yeah and an earthquake would happen in japan or like oh. just because you did something small let's say i tap this desk because i tap that desk i'm gonna stub my toe later or some shit okay so it's kind of like they say it's this thing where everything's connected and yeah. everything has like an outcome and it may not make sense it just like okay. it just happens like that yeah so like um you step on an ant someone like gets in a car accident something, something yeah like exactly like the butterfly effect because you did that maybe it comes back to you oh shit like karma that's just karma no nah not even karma bro not it, even it karma because it's, it's it's like indirect yeah okay wow that's crazy i didn't know about that yeah like, so whenever i see an insect i'm gonna just leave it alone because <laughs> i might cause like some shit in china like a tsunami that, in china that's the old Finch Road urban legend. Old Finch Road. Old Finch Road. I know right? this it, one, yeah. It's cursed. Mm. Like, so they're saying that when you go there, I mean, there's been many stories of people seeing like guys in top hats mm. with dogs around them and shit. But there's this one girl that committed suicide there. Yeah. That whenever you go there on their, her birthday, mm. you hear a melody of happy birthday in your ear and then fresh balloons come out the water. What the f Yeah. You ever heard that before? I heard a different story. No, what'd you hear? I heard, I heard like, I guess there's a lot of stories there, mm -hmm. but the, the story I heard was like, this girl was taken, because Old Finch Road is literally the middle of nowhere. It's, yeah, yeah. It's literally a random It's like a back bridge. road. It's like yeah. a back road, right? Mm -hmm. Now, this for me, what I heard, this is what my cousin told me. Some some people took like this, this high schooler, teenage girl, kidnapped her, yeah. and then took her under the bridge, and you can hear her screaming, oh, right? So the scream was like echoing in the bridge. Yeah. You know one division the theory. Mm -hmm. Which one? <laughs> Which one? I know all of them. <laughs> I, yeah, you tell one. You tell. Actually, let me tell one. Okay, go, you go, you, you go. So you know when um when Wanda went into Agnes's house, yeah, and they were playing um Yo Gabba Gabba. Oh yeah, I one saw of that my one. favorite shows. Yeah, yeah. So that represents um the Infinity Stones. Mm -hmm. So the red the red character I don't know his name represents I think the Power Stone. Uh, the pink one represents a. Oh no, the pink one represents a power. There's like there's like four of them. There's right? four of them, but they all represent or five. Yeah, because yeah. there's six Infinities. Yeah, yeah. But they all represent the stones. Mm -hmm. And they were playing a song, um, the Jumpy Jump song, which uh, indicates how Wanda was traveling through time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nah, and then one part of the theory you forgot was there were five of them. Mm -hmm. One was missing, which was the robot. The robot, yeah, Which yeah. was Vision because Vision was occupied. Yeah, yeah. So we WandaVision like, theory part two. In WandaVision. In WandaVision. This is just a crazy theory. The actor for Vision, mm -hmm. he said he's going to work with a new character and the actor he always wanted to work with before, yeah. but he's never got a chance to. And Wanda, like the actress for Wanda, she said there's going to be a cameo in the show yeah. that's as big as Luke Skywalker showing up in Mandalorian. Oh, so shit. Luke Skywalker, the first character yeah. in the first movie of the franchise, mm -hmm. showed up in Mandalorian. Now, what's comparable to the first character of Marvel? Spider-Man. Oh, shit. so they're gonna bring back Tobey Maguire for the multiverse. For the multiverse in WandaVision. Oh, that would be hard. Imagine, bro. Imagine we see Tobey Maguire in WandaVision. It low-key might happen, fam. It might happen. It's not even a crazy thing. Like, I see that happening. Yeah, because they're playing with they're playing with the multiverse and shit. Yeah, yeah. And Tobey Maguire is gonna be in Spider-Man confirmed. Yeah. He's gonna be in Doctor Strange confirmed. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna lead, and WandaVision is supposed to lead up exactly to oh. those. So we must. Bro, Dark I watched side this of Chuck video. E. Cheese. It was like a worker of Chuck E. Cheese, and then she was saying how a lot of people don't know but she would find a lot of like condoms in freaking the ball pits and shit Whoa, of like the chuck e cheese like ball pits that's this guy loki i think i've read some shit like that too and you know what's even crazier because you know you know when you walk into chuck e cheese and then you have to put a stamp on your hand yeah and then whoever you're with you all have the same stamp you know why why that's because nobody so nobody gets abducted what yeah you didn't know that abducted by who though like by like child predators bro oh that's yeah because that's, that's the that spot. yeah that's the spot
and then and then in the confessions of like the the Chuck E. Cheese workers, she would say like there would be men that come by themselves to Chuck E. Cheese, and oh, it's not like they can they can do anything because it's legal. Yeah. But they would still just come by themselves. So it's easy. See that pisses me off, bro. It's fucked up, right? It's fucked up, bro. Like even um when Pokemon Go came out, mm -hmm. and bro, they're doing the most. The Predator's doing the most. You know, Pyramids people, conspiracy. Yeah. So people say that they were built by like aliens. Like, yeah, that, that's like a right? common thing. Yeah. There was a there's a drone that was flown into the pyramids. Like there's a video on this. There's video mm -hmm. proof. It's flown into the pyramids. Yeah. And like the whole time the drone's going into like one of the holes in the pyramids just keeps going, keeps going. Wait, wait, how so they flew it like illegally or they flew it like I don't think I don't know if it was legally or not. Yeah, so some underground yeah. shit. Yeah. So you go in, they go into the pyramid. It's yeah. like a, some like open hole in the pyramid. So they go to the center of the pyramid. Mm -hmm. There's someone standing in the pyramid. <laughs> what? There's like some sort of figure in the pyramid. There's a video of, on this. There's like a person, sitting. like a person, like I don't know. It's, the video is like blurry, mm. but it's a legit video. And yeah, it's like they're it's some person's just in there or some object or something's floating the in there. So people were saying, yeah, that that was like an entrance into like, like another world, like an alternate dimension. Yeah, so like oh. or like the underworld or something. Oh, yo, because so, because the, there's a lot of stories like, like that's like a gatekeeper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah burning about, bush theory. The burning bush with moses yeah. well i mean burning bush when i hear it i think just someone's smoking you're, yeah you're so burning a bush what scientists believe was yeah. the bush that was burning in front of moses was actually called the acacia bush okay and the acacia bush is highly potent in <laughs> that <laughs> yeah and then he saw god on the top of the mountain right yeah or something spoke to him he saw like a vision of like god i can see how that would do that to you right and he it talked to him yeah i mean it makes sense if, if you look at like the, the bible is pretty much a story mm -hmm. right stories and pretty much experiences that people wrote down yeah now in what they wrote down they can't exactly say scientifically what happened yeah even back then because they didn't know exactly what was happening they were just documenting yeah they're just documenting yeah. what they felt yeah and also i mean i'm not bashing the bible at all they have some good teachings yeah that. for sure 100%. The, the messages are there just some of the stories um are are kind of hard to believe but if you take this like and look on things crazy easter origin Santa theory and christmas yeah, yeah relating to mushrooms yeah so there was another theory not even a theory i believe this is actually what happened mm -hmm. I'm, I'm convinced so with easter when mushrooms grow they start in this bulb shape which is called an egg yeah all right and they grow in certain seasons very well mm -hmm. so around easter time these bulbs would be popping out of the ground yeah and of course the, the term is egg so people mm -hmm. would go on egg hunts during these times <laughs> and they'd yeah. bring them home and that's where, where easter, easter egg hunting from i believe so because there are actually stories of it like hunting for mushrooms you're looking for eggs that's what they called them bro that makes so much sense yeah because remember i think in the rj episode i was talking about like where did easter come from where did yeah. these eggs come from well they say that the easter bunny was just thrown in for commercial purposes they mm -hmm. need something for marketing right mm -hmm. but the egg part the egg part yeah because when when mushrooms grow they start yeah that's that's like th it's the actual term Wait, tangled the rapunzel, rapunzel theory, theory. So the rapunzel theory right so it goes that Rapunzel yeah. in the Disney movie she was quarantined and locked up in that tower for, oh, for yeah. her whole life right yeah. since she was a baby <laughs> crazy and then mm -hmm. take in the the name of the kingdom mm -hmm. is the kingdom of corona see nah, so that, like, that actually blew my mind <laughs> like, what the that actually blew my shout out to that person who told us that but like that shit blew my mind I know because it, it lined up it lined up like corona what would what were it now yeah well, where'd you get that from coronavirus exactly corona quarantine like in the tower by herself in isolation that shit adds up <laughs> disney that the illuminati fam <laughs> disney the illuminati fam and she was in there for 18 years bro just mm. sweeping doing chores yeah that's what's happening now bro facts denver the airport the theory symbol oh, yeah, yeah yeah in the plaque and then on the plaque it said new world airport whatever Damn. new world yeah. new world New world order, bro. Come on, no, man. It's right It's there, too bro. obvious, bro. It's too obvious. We got you. <laughs> we got you. <laughs> we don't want smoke in there. But yeah, like they're saying that the underground tunnels, right? Yeah. Like that for, for baggage systems, right? Yeah, but yeah, that's, yeah. That's where all the higher power have their meetings. Yo, yo, okay. Get this, bro. Get this. So Barack Obama, right? Yeah. So I think it was 2012. Okay. There, there was a comet that was close to hitting the earth. Yeah. There was a comet that was close to hitting the earth that might have decimated the fucking earth right okay okay and it just so happened Barack obama was in denver colorado oh shit at so, that time at exact oh. time 
So he that's the bunker. That's, that's the, main the bunker, bunker bro. Oh. That's the bunker, man. <laughs> and apparently there was like a, a, a whole bunch of other rich people or like rich and powerful people that were there on that day. Time Imagine travel the world conspiracy. Was almost destroyed like hella times. Mm-hmm. But because they already know time travel, like they were they able to stop it. that shit. Yo! Back that, <laughs> that, that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, no, that's true. That's true. Cause like, like 2000, 2000. Yeah, that was one year that it was supposed to end, right? Oh yeah. That shit didn't happen, bro. 2012. That was that shit didn't to happen, happen either. That shit didn't happen. That's a show, bro. Oh. Time travel. These guys that you see in the videos, like on the phone and stuff, they could be the types of people that come and they're like, like I Nah, that's crazy. It. That's they crazy. just gotta change one thing, bro. Yeah. The whole thing is set. That's so, that's facts though. Cause like Yo. like let, let's say let's say send someone back in time when Hitler was like the same kid and then like yeah. pushed him into a different path. Yeah, yeah. That changes the whole history. Yeah, so maybe they didn't do that. Like time travel time travelers never did that because they knew it's changed too much. Yeah, changed too much. That could be a thing. Oh the Halloween theory. Oh no. Or the origins of Halloween. No, there's an origin of Halloween. Yeah. So it said that Halloween, October the 31st, yeah. is actually the only day in the year where the underworld has access to the overworld. So what what happens is the dead are able to come to the surface, come to our world and try to steal a soul from the living. What? So the reason everybody dresses up is because the dead come and look for souls from the living. And we camouflage? So we shit? camouflage and, oh. and pretend we're dead. So we dress up as people from the underworld so that the dead won't take our souls. <laughs> now, <laughs> now listen, 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 right? Why, why, why? Now, the reason we give candy out to everybody uh-huh. is because supposedly the only way to keep your soul is to is to give to the peasants. Like back in the day, yeah. they would give to the peasants. They would give food to the peasants because it's like it's like cleaning your soul. It's like giving 